Revolutionary greetings, people of Fazania South. We are here today to celebrate the momentous birth of the new, new South Africa. Mm. I play the Supreme Kader, who is the leader of a new political party that's just come into power, that's black-led and women-led. Because I'm very passionate about, uh, firstly, my feminism. I'm very passionate about the stories of black people. And it seemed like a great way to sort of bring attention to the way things are in the country um, outside of all the other ways that we've tried, by telling people what is happening, by referring to the past. This one actually gives us an idea of a future that could happen. I want you to die. I want our country to live, but I don't want to die with, I don't want to live with your blood on my hands. You want me to die for my country, for the sins of all the white people. Okay, cool. I'll fucking die. I fucking love this country so much that I have to pay to die for it. But you won't be the guy who kills for your country. Fucking get over it. We're building a future here, so you better shuffle some cement, boy. Your people used to be good at that. <sighs> Um, and I love the ruthlessness of my character and how she's been driven to a point of being willing to kill. Um, a lot of the time when people um, speak about feminism, they speak about it in a way that has guidelines. So you can be a feminist, you just can't want A, B, and C. So what this play basically says is women can actually do whatever it is that they want. Given the power, they can actually achieve far more than men. We stand here today! People have likened the political power to the AFF, but really it, it, it isn't. But, you know, people, if you think about radicalism in the last few years, you will either see it in the EFF or in the student movement. So I think that's why people sort of link the two. But no, you can't, you can't link this kind of political movement that's in the play to anything that's happened. Ask about quality education, Mandela with a trophy. Ask about housing, Mandela with the trophy. Ask about crime rates, Bavik, Mandela with the trophy. Now, I might not agree with it, but you have to admit that it's a very clever pacifier. Look how united we were. Don't you think we're united? Of course we're united, Bavik. Mandela and that motherfucking trophy. And I think younger people are the ones right now who are really pushing against um, what's happening in the country right now, the kind of silence that is seen happening.